The U.S. Supreme Court has overturned Roe v. Wade, the landmark 1973 ruling that constitutionally protected abortion rights for almost 50 years. But what does this really mean? Now, the critical question before the court was whether the U.S. Constitution confers to people the right to obtain an abortion. The Supreme Court has decided that it does not. But this does not mean that there is a blanket ban on abortions across the United States. It basically means that the right to abortion is not a fundamental right. In fact, the reason why the 1973 judgment was so huge was that it imposed a blanket ban on restrictions on abortions. The 2022 decision reverses that. It reverses that and it puts the onus on the states and the state governments. This means that if a Republican state like Texas bans or imposes restrictions on abortions, then neither the Supreme Court nor the federal government, which is ruled by Democrats right now, can do anything about it. Now, at least half the states in the U.S. ruled by the Republican Party are expected to function like this. In these states, there is something known as trigger laws, which are laws that were already in place imposing severe restrictions on abortions. Now, this means that people will have to travel longer distances to democrat rule states to get an abortion. This also means that there will be longer waiting periods, abortion clinics will be burdened, and you know who will be affected the most? The economically and socially backward people, including black women, Latinos, immigrants, and all the uninsured people.